So we have today Jasmine Just the Vicious, professional MMA fighter from Canada, and in my book, a true champion. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm doing good, staying up for you, you know? <laughs> no, I appreciate it. <laughs> How's everything over there with you in Canada? It's going well, actually. Just finished practice, like r rushed home, took a quick shower, got changed, and now we're here. We had uh, like striking this morning. So uh, Lyndon Whitlock came down from Parabellum, and so we are doing, oh. doing main, just some hands today. A little bit of wrestling, but ma mainly hands. Uh, you know, like now that you talk about training, oh, I got a little bit sad, like a little bit sad because I'm not training anymore. I hurt my knee. I was preparing for oh. this fight for October for next month, and that I had a partial uh, ligament tear, so I'm on rest. And I haven't been training for like a month. I do miss it so much. Yeah, it's gonna it's be my hard. first MMA fight. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Oh man, and the, and that's a pretty significant injury. Like that's not Don't just like take me. a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by 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 the way, uh, congratulations uh, on the second uh, nephew or niece. Yeah, thank you, niece, niece. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, uh, congratulations niece. to that. How's the baby? All good. Go, yeah, baby's healthy, everything. Like, I'm I'm stuck at being like that whole girly thing. So I don't know how long or how much weight or anything. I'm just like, yeah, good ba baby, nice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now that, that's yeah. nice, though, especially in this in this time. Like, I think this this year, 2020, has been so crazy. Mm -hmm. up and yeah. Down and everything. How? It's, it's actually, sorry, yeah, sorry, me. it's tell, crazy. Tell um, because so my brother, his wife is from Costa Rica. So their first daughter was born when when that whole Zika virus was all going on in Costa Rica. And then now she's here, thinking they'd be like more safe. They they moved here so that like you know for the girls to go to school and everything, and like thinking it'd be more safe. And then Corona is going on for the second baby. Like it's just nuts. <laughs> oh, it is crazy. Funny enough, I was actually in Costa Rica during the Zika uh virus when it when it when it happened yeah i lived there with my family for three years beautiful oh, wow. yeah yeah the yeah, mma I scene there is quite good yeah yeah, yeah. they're like uh, they have very nice uh, gyms and they 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 make these camps and at the beaches and everything very very nice have you been oh, to Costa Rica? such nice beach yeah i was there uh two or three years ago okay Actually, more, more than that. Probably almost four years ago now. Oh, time flies. <laughs> Were you there for vacation? Uh, my, my brother and his wife lived there for like, like he, my brother lived there like kind of like six months of the year for work. And then he was here half the year. Mm -hmm. And she was born there. She was originally from there. And so I would just go down and visit them sometimes. Okay. And how is now uh, everything with the pandem pandemic in Canada? Do you have uh, really strict res restrictions? Yeah, we do. Like, I mean, it's not crazy here. It's not like super strict or anything like that. But it's like wear masks when you're at a store, like that whole social distancing. It's really hard with the gym because we aren't really able to do regular practices. Like we're still supposed to social distance and all that. Yeah unless you have like a group so uh, like i'm fortunate since through this whole pandemic that i've had a small group that we've consistently trained together and we're only in contact with each other and stuff like that so um i'm able to still get training in but i know a lot of people that like they don't have that availability and they they don't like luckily my boyfriend owns a gym so i'm able to get in the gym every single day and uh, <laughs> nice, good. so i'm i'm super fortunate and uh it's as bad as it sounds kind of nice for me because like the coaches really have only a handful of athletes that they can work with and luckily i'm one of them so they're really like zoning in on me and uh working on my weaknesses and uh yeah it's gonna be it, it's gonna be cool like to be able to display what i have to offer absolutely and, and there, there's benefits to training in a small group it's uh oh yeah know, and also like the, the your the coach can focus more on in like individuals there as opposed to like being in a big group i remember when, exactly when they was like quite restricted here we had a very small group 
and we only had to have one sparring partner for like the, as much as we can. Now that yeah. things are getting back to normal, all of a sudden I went back to training and there's like 30 people there. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is not that's that's not much fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, it's different. And I want to ask you. I know, like, it's hard to talk about a loss, but how yeah. you how you doing with that? You know, I I'm doing okay. I I mean, it it happens. I like you know, initially, obviously, I'm like, oh, you know, it it didn't feel good. But after watching the fight, I mean. It is what it is. I I'm not gonna gonna dwell on it. I'm not gonna get too low on my on my loss, but I because I don't get too high on my highs. Like of course you love winning and like you have that day you're like yeah you feel like you're on top of the world, but then it's right back to work. And and this was the same thing. Like I had that day where I was oh you know I cried all that shit, but then right back to work and uh, yeah you it's it's good and bad because it's a it's a very very good learning experience for me because girl like you know that's a very common style for for girls to fight is like that kind of like jab and move jab and move and um like winning that that point battle and she did that very well like i mean she she had a good game plan she stuck to the game plan and she got the win and uh i mean i'm it's a fight, so I'm like unhappy because it's like just come on, like let's fight, kind of thing. Yeah, we're we're yeah. in a fight, let's fight. But I get it, you know. She 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 played she played the game better than I played the game that day, and uh, you know it, it it happens. But but it's nice because it forced it forced me now to learn how to beat that style, like for sure you know what i mean it's Completely. instead of leaving it in the just hands like now now look i have the eyes of my coaches <laughs> like a lot more so uh we're we're really kind of zoning in on on that being a particular weakness of mine yeah you know because um i i saw your are you still there yeah yep, yep. okay um i i saw your fight and I cannot, I cannot deny that you, you made a great performance. You're very, you're Thank a ruthless, you. you're a tough girl. <laughs> I would, I would inspire with you, <laughs> you know, but like my opinion uh, on the fight, I felt that your emotions got over you. Yeah. You were too invested in the fight. Yeah. As you just mentioned right now, come on, let's fight, let's fight. And yeah. you a little bit forgot about the strategy and the technicality of the game. That's that's exactly yeah. yeah. No, that's it. That's exactly what happened. I I was looking for the finish too much and not letting the finish come to me. I was it was like too much crash and not enough flow. Yeah, you know, because like the other the other the past fights that I have seen from you, you it, all of them you have this quality of toughness. You're ruthless. You go for it. You go for the kill. But you have you kind of like follow the the game plan, and here you I like I said you were too invested. You got yeah. to, you maybe mentally also a little bit affected you 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 know. No, that that was that's exactly what it was. Is you hit the head, the nail right on the head. That that's exactly I was I was like trying too hard. I was getting too like, uh, and it's like that's that's when you're when you're not doing well is when you're when you're up here, not when you're here. You know. Correct. Yeah. What's the now? What's the game plan for now? What like um? What do you have in store? Um. So like, fight, fight version. Not nothing's booked yet. We're we're kind of like looking, but like training wise, more more like flow training and more like finding my shots and like more defensive mind, not just like looking for the kill all the time and. Uh, a lot, a lot more like slips, pulls, all that more defense. That movement is important. Is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, a lot, oh, yeah. A lot, yeah, a lot more footwork drills, that kind of stuff. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. So tell me, uh, I saw that uh, you during this time that you had had also like free time because of the pandemic. You started doing uh, this Kandalini yoga. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, yeah, I try, like, I, I, it's funny, because I wouldn't really say that I, like, 
do it because like I'd, I've never been to a class or anything like that I just like, go on YouTube and look it up and um, so yeah it was like doing that and also the qi gong so it's like traditional Chinese medicine but it's like the same idea of like breathing and moving with your body and and I think that actually helps with more of like the flow as opposed to the crash <laughs> okay then have you done traditional yoga before though yeah but I didn't like it I don't know I, <laughs> <Not for> you. <laughs> which is weird yeah it was like I just felt like you just kind of like held yourself in like awkward position I mean it, it mind you I did try it like probably two or three years ago maybe I'm like more open mind to it now but yeah. uh I don't know we'll see <laughs> yeah I remember actually in Costa Rica I had this uh my friend Pat he was a mm -hmm. yoga nut you know obviously certified and everything he was all the time trying to tell me man let's do some yoga let's do some yoga and I know it's beneficial it's good for you plus I have a bad back and everybody told me that yoga will help me with that so I, yeah. I gave it a shot it's like okay let, Pat, let's do it so he gave me one class we did like 30 minutes that was it for me <laughs> you know yeah not, not it was not for me and then he was all insisting all the time. I was like, no, nah, man, come on, let's do some kickboxing. I'll, I'll teach you. So, so, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I get so. it. I don't know. It's like the, the regular, like, basic yoga. There's, I don't know. It's not really for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, not, not to this, the, 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 the discipline at all. No. But it's, 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 some people like it, some people don't. We're one yeah, of those, it's I, not for us. I think it's good, like the, the idea of it is good. And I think that's why I kind of got into like the Kundalini, Kundalini Yoga or the Qigong, because I like the idea of it. But like that particular, like the regular one, I don't even know what it's called, like the regular one that's like everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, man, I get it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to like it, but I just don't. It's just not for you, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, but is it true, like, uh, for example, that you started in, in MMA because you you were like uh, at your boyfriend's practice, right? Something like that, and then you saw some people sparring. And you said, like, oh, I can do this. What, yeah, pretty much. So what uh, attracted you that from that confrontation? Um, you? you know, I've always kind of been like scrappy and wily. Like, oh, when I would like play soccer and stuff, I was always like you know, getting a little bit more rough than I should have, or basketball, I always had like four fouls, like some of them got fouled out, you know, and so I, I always kind of had that, uh, I guess, like, wily craziness to me, um, but never got into fighting or anything like that, which doesn't make sense, but uh, yeah, it was, I was with like my boyfriend, he's like my coach as well, his name's Chris Prickett, uh, so he was helping Jason Sago get ready for a fight. And um, I was just there. Like, he, so he was like, asked me, do you want to come out east with me? And I'm like, well, yeah, obviously, like, love seafood. And so, like, I'm watching practice. They're doing shit. And then I was like, this actually looks really cool. Like, I want to try it. And so I asked, I'm like, can I join? And it was sparring. And they're like, you're not just going from nothing to jumping into sparring so then after practice Jason did some moving around with me and he's like you know you have some like natural ability uh if you start training you might be able to make a run at this and then I was like okay and but I didn't really like I was like that's really sweet of him to say but I didn't really like like believe it if that makes sense yeah. you know what I, I mean and then uh when I came back, I started training more and like, I started like going to the wrestling practices at Brock and, and I just like fell in love with fighting and uh, like, it's just completely like changed my life. I like fighting is literally everything in my life. Like even everyone that I live with, like we're all just pro fighters and we just live like coexist together and like go to the gym and then come home talk about fighting we're like watching the fights every weekend and it's like our whole life is just like fighting and it's it's just so awesome like even our like neighbor just down the street his name's luke like 
he he'll like come over there and like Vlad will come over it, it's so crazy like the community that we have of just because of fighting it's yeah. it's awesome no I completely understand what you mean you know uh, especially when you can share with someone or a lot of people that passion and they don't yeah. understand what you, what you're, where you're coming from and what you talk about and everything. And you can have a nice conversation about the same subject. Yeah. You know? And everyone's so helpful. Like if somebody is dieting, the, the other people aren't like eating treats in front of them. Or like, you know what I mean? It's like, we'll give each other little like tips like, oh, hey, you should use this when you're cutting weight or I do this. Well, like everyone helps each other because they know what it is like that's so good that that is nice but did you had a martial arts background before nope oh Play, you like, from basketball. zero <laughs> from zero yeah i played like, soccer basketball volleyball like nothing like and not even i didn't even really like i played sports in like high school and and stuff i didn't even like play sports outside of school or anything i just i don't know i hung out with my friends and stuff well that, that's very impressive jazz i gotta say wow my respects to that hats off thank you yeah so tell me about this like this bet everybody's talking about this bet you have with your friend you know yeah so that's a good uh, motivation for you to be in the ufc right <laughs> oh big time yeah it's so funny so yeah the bet is with my best friend her name's kylie so we were actually at Jason said goes fight it was like UFC Ottawa a couple of years ago and um, I was like looking around like watching the fights she was with me and I was like you know what like this is awesome like look at this like everyone's here just like watching these two people fight it's like like modern day gladiator like I was like <laughs> this is crazy like all the lights the music everything like I loved it and so I like turned to her. I'm like, Kylie, you know, like I've been training a little bit. I, I might, I might make a run at this. I might, I might try to get here. And she started like, we've had a couple of drinks, you know, she started to laugh and die and laugh and looks at me and she's like, yeah, you make it here. I'll get, I'll get your face tattooed on my ass. And then, so <laughs> we continued watching the fights, everything. We're driving home like the next morning and we're just like hanging out in the car. And then I was like, Hey Kylie, uh, so like you're serious about that uh tattoo on your ass if i make it right like that that's a real thing and then she's like yeah for sure 100 percent. you you make it into the ufc i'll get your face tattooed on my ass and then like after that day it, she's like that's when you started training more and everything <laughs> like that she's like that was your only motivation but now it's so funny because it's just like a thing with my friends now that like even her boyfriend's like Yep, yeah, I I understand you're gonna have jazz jazz's face tattooed on your ass. Like it's just accepted now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's inevitable inevitable. It's going to happen, you know? Yeah, it, yeah. I, wonder, I wonder what the size is gonna choose, like uh whether it's gonna be a nice portrait of your face or a funny face, or will you get to decide that? How is that gonna go? <laughs> I think it will be kind of like a mutual thing. I I don't know. We we haven't really discussed exactly how we're going to do it, but, like, I am kind of hoping that somebody out there, like, sees one of my interviews and, like, like an artist and, like, draws something up or, or I don't know. I feel like it has to happen organically. Yeah. So, uh, we'll see. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do yet. <laughs> well, hopefully an artist uh, hears this and helps you out with that. <laughs> I hope so. Keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I I know that's your biggest goal right now in your MMA career to go to the UFC. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Yeah, that's the game. Finally, yeah, because like uh, a lot, obviously, a lot of fighters want to have that goal. Like they want to reach the UFC. I understand why, of course. But yes. why only the UFC? I I wonder. Like there are other good promotions out there where you can also excel as an MMA athlete, but nobody talks about at least very seldom the the main focus of the ufc why is that in your case um i think it's because kind of like the ufc has the like the the top of the top in in my opinion i i mean i i could be wrong but 
I feel like if you're in the UFC and you make top 10, it's humongous. In comparison to the other organizations, you make top 10. It's different. It's like you, you get to the UFC, you become a world champion. Then it's like there's no discussion about it. It's like you're a world champion. You know what I mean? Like there, yeah. it's just like the the upper echelon. And in my opinion, I, I I could be wrong. I've never fought for the other organizations or anything. So it's like no no kind of disrespect to them or anything. It's just uh kind of the the UFC is the one that I I feel like for me particular. That's how I kind of like caught the bug. So it's like that's I'm almost like tunnel vision to it yeah. because I saw the lights and I saw the music and I was there and it it just made like it kind of like hit home for me. That's why I particularly want UFC. Yeah, like I the know, start, I mean, that was the start of the finish, you know? Oh, that's very nice said. The start and the finish. That, yeah, that's well put. You know? Very, very well put. No, that's interesting. I, uh, well, obviously, so it's a, uh, it's first of all, yeah, it is hard, but reaching, uh, entering the UFC is a, a huge accomplishment, and then moving in the ranks in the UFC as mm-hmm. well. You know, you gotta admire also all those fighters that have taken many losses and they are still there. They're still there. One of the guys that oh, comes yeah. to mind, uh, George St. Pierre, like a, a legend in Canada. You know, like um, yeah. And until today, he's still in the sport in one way or another, or, 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 one way or another. And I think he's a great example, not only because of the wins, but he's just like a true gentleman yep. of the sport. Yeah, you know? for um, sure. And obviously, you as a Canadian, like uh, I, I'm assuming you would like to reach that level as well, right? Especially representing women. Yeah, exactly. That That's like my kind of like ultimate dream is to be like the – girl version of george st pierre like i mean not obviously our fighting styles <laughs> but yeah. uh you know like to to kind of like make canada proud and like especially like young females like it, it's hard for young girls growing like kind of getting into mma like i know um i help out with like the kids program at my gym and there's like one particular girl, her brother has been doing MMA for years and years and years. Well, not that many years because he's only 17. But um, (laughs) regardless, he's been in it since he was like six years old or something like that. And she was just sitting on the side, like playing on her uh, little system. And then I asked her, I'm like, hey, why don't you join class? Because it was like just a kid's class. And she's like, no, thank you. Like, I'm okay. And then like, after like seeing her every day in because she would come watch her brother and I'm like come on just come in come in come in and it's so awesome now because she actually is in class now and loves it she was going to do a jujitsu tournament like right before the pandemic hit and it was going to be her first tournament and everything and it's so awesome just to see like how she wasn't she had no desire to do martial arts at all and now she's she loves it and like she's has friends in the class and and she has like more confidence like her parents love it and it's just so so awesome and like so fulfilling as like a female coach to see the girl i mean i love the guys too the the little boys are so cute and everything but like it's it's really awesome to see the girls and like see how how they they kind of like get into mixed art regardless if they stay in it or not but i think it i think it's important for girls because it like builds confidence and there's so many facets to to martial arts absolutely absolutely i completely agree especially for 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 a kid helps you with your confidence like you mentioned you know uh makes you athletic as well and teaches you discipline patience and that's like very hard yeah. for a kid, you know. So, so definitely, yeah. Martial arts oh, yeah. Is, is great. I, rec- I I recommend a lot of people martial arts when they ask me that they want to get into sports. Obviously, yeah. that's the number one question I get. But what martial art? Which was the best? That's so hard for me to answer. <laughs> and whatever one they like, like exactly. it doesn't matter. Yeah, if they like grappling, grappling, striking, Correct. whatever, whatever one they like, whatever one they'll stay in. 
and and not only that like uh, if you you continue a long trajectory in martial arts you can define what you like more if for example in my case i started in kung fu and i was like i was in love with kung fu and i thought all my life i was going to do kung fu and then from kung fu i made the transition to kickboxing and then i fell in love with that and i thought all my life i was going to do kickboxing and then i was introduced to brazilian jiu jitsu and now yeah. that's like my favorite one i love bjj the grappling it's just fun that's awesome. and strategic i love the the chess game there and that's what's so sick about martial arts is like i feel like sometimes it'll be like a month that i just like really dive into something like it was uh, like a couple months ago, I like dove in super hard to like collegiate style wrestling or like there was before it was like just like K1 kickboxing. And, it, and it's, it's cool to, for, for, for martial art, for MMA, because you can, you can pick and choose and like just dive in for a bit. Then, you, you know, you get a little like not bored of it, but, you know, you, you find something else. You dive right into that. Like, it's so awesome. It is. It is. So tell me, Jazz, what's next for you? What's, what, is, what does the future expect for Jazz? Um, I don't know. They're, they're looking uh, potentially. So I, I have a contract with CFFC, so it'll be another fight with CFFC. That's um, they have a card in October. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know for sure if I would be like getting on. They're looking for a match, but um, nothing, nothing came through yet. So we'll see. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I know pretty much as much as you right now. My coach and my manager, they talk a lot more behind my back. Not like that, <laughs> but, you know, like they, they're, they're, they discuss more. And then once they're kind of 75%, then I get let in on the conversation. But that's the thing, especially with Girl Fight, is that the, they'll send a name, like an offer, and then – like something happens, you know? So if I got told every name that was, that was offered, then I would be like, go crazy in my head, like look up this girl. And then five minutes later, it's like, oh wait, she's already scheduled for blah, blah, blah fight. Or like, you know what I mean? So they, they wait until it's, it's more certain and then I get let in. <laughs> well, we, we here in Jog Farm, we are huge fans of yours. So like, uh, we can support you every step of the way. Hey, and we would love to have you on that platform. So please join, show us some love there. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> All right, Jazz, I know you have another appointment, so I'm going to let you go. But before I do, uh, you want to give any shout outs to anybody? A shout out to all my sponsors. Really appreciate you guys. They're awesome. Shout out to my gym, Niagara Top Team and Parabellum MMA. And obviously my coaches, my training partners. And thank you very much for having me. This was awesome chat. Oh, I'm glad that you like it. Thank you. Thank you. And let's, de let's definitely do it sometime again, okay? For sure. All right, Jazz. Stay safe. Take care. Thanks. Yeah. Bye.